For some people, a car is a necessity. For others, it's a convenience or a lifestyle decision. Cars are freaking cool as hell. Now, I fully understand the desire to own one, but the simple truth is, we are really bad at making decisions when it comes to this issue. That's the truth. Now, the average monthly car payment in the US is $644 at the beginning of 2022. That's nearly a 12% increase over the last 12 months. 12%? Is that a lot? That's a lot. So this is becoming more expensive as the cost of cars goes up. That's inflation for you. But the most concerning thing is that the average auto loan is nearly $40,000 a year, with Americans owing a collective $1.46 trillion in auto loan debt. Is that, is that a lot? Yes, it's a lot. So this is a significant issue. Because... <laughs> the problem is people spend more on things when they're buying it on credit. And due to the interest rates that are applied to these loans, it almost never makes sense to borrow for a car. Oh, you're no fun. Now, of course, I understand that some people will be unable or maybe unwilling to save up for cash purchases of a car. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. All I want to stress is the opportunity cost of going with a larger loan when you could have opted for a cheaper car for now. Do the math. These cars are stealing our lives! So if we assume a rate of 6.58%, which is the average as of April 2022 if you have good credit, that loan, over 60 months, will cost you about $7,000 in interest. Now if you'd borrow just $10,000, you'd have paid only $1,762 in interest, so a saving of nearly $5,500. Now, I know we're talking about very different cars here, but living within your means for five years is a much better long-term decision, and here's why. So for that $10,000 car, your monthly repayment is only $196, compared to $784 for the nicer car. Now this means simply that you could invest $588 a month for five years instead of making these repayments. Doing this by investing in broad index funds, averaging a 10% return, would leave you with $45,000 after that five years is over. And of course, that cheaper car is gonna suffer a much lower loss in value through depreciation than the more expensive car. But hey, if you were to leave that amount invested for 32 years, you would have over a million dollars at the end. Okay, but look, let's be fair, you're in the habit of investing 588 bucks each and every month. What if you just kept doing that? Well, in that further 32 years of investing and letting your money grow, you would end up with over two and a half million dollars, which is over a million dollars in today's value when adjusted for a 3% average inflation. And yes, I know that 3% inflation is going to trigger some people in the comment section, but the reality is we will likely return to that number at some point. If you were to rely on the 4% rule for retirement, this sum will actually allow you the equivalent future value of 50 grand per year in retirement spending for over 25 years. Okay, so if you're 30 now, foregoing that nicer car just so that you can have that five years of lower repayments and stick into that affordable investing habit beyond that means that you could fund a $50,000 per year retirement from 67 to 92 on that set of actions alone. Pretty impressive. It wouldn't require any other saving. That is crazy. And the numbers are even more wild if you look at the interest rates that you pay if you have a worse credit rating, not to mention the lower running costs and insurances that are applied to the moderate vehicles which you could be opting for. That does make sense. So with the math aside, one final point to think about is the application of the hedonic treadmill. Unfortunately, our ability as human beings to adapt to our circumstances can be a negative thing. Sure, you will enjoy the new car feel for a little while, but for most people, that just won't last. But these higher monthly repayments will. Are we driving cars or are cars driving us? So be smart, guys. Think long term. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll throw myself out.